What's going on guys, this is Techricity here and today I'm making a very special video because it's the end of 2014 and also because I'm making this in collaboration with two other YouTubers, namely TechSnackles and Atos. So we're gonna tell you what we think is the best smartphone that was released in this year, that is 2014, along with a close second and why. So without any further ado, this is top three smartphones 2014. So my pick for the best smartphone in 2014 would be none other than the Apple iPhone 6. And no, I'm not a fanboy. The reason I chose the iPhone 6 is because I know that even though the iPhone doesn't have all the bells and whistles like NFC or wireless charging or air gestures, whatever the iPhone can do, the iPhone does marvelously and beats most of the competition at it too. Um, think about it, what do you actually need in a smartphone? You need speed, where the iPhone A8 processor basically knocks the socks off most of the competition. You need battery life, and I know the iPhone doesn't have the best battery life, but you know, it is pretty respectable. You need a good display, and the iPhone 6 Retina display is really, really hard to beat, easily one of the best on the market. And you need a great camera, and man oh man is the camera on the iPhone 6 amazing. Um, personally, I would say this is the best camera phone on the market, you know, barring competition, stiff competition from the Z3 and the Note 4. Um, and lastly, um, it's because of iOS. iOS just works. Everything just works without you even thinking about it. And it looks great while doing it too. And it's pretty smooth as well. Also, a lot of apps make their debuts on iOS before Android. And sometimes the apps even work better on iOS, for example, Instagram. So all these, com all these reasons combined is why I chose to make the iPhone 6 my top pick for um, the best smartphone of 2014. So my next pick would be none other than the Sony Xperia Z3. Now I chose this phone over others in the Android space. Um, I had difficulty between this and the Note 4, mainly because of those key essentials I talked about earlier, along with one other factor, and that would be design. So this phone comes in multiple color variants, which are great, and also it has glass on the front and back, which sets it apart from most of the crowd and makes it look really, really good. Um, also, this phone is not too big, nor is it too small, so it fits good in the hand, and it's water and dust proof, so that's always a plus. Um, so the internals of this phone are great, so you shouldn't have any speed issues here. Um, the battery life, you know, just blows my mind. It also blows most of the competition out of the water as well. Um, you know, the 5.2 inch display on the front is really, really good. And also it is the brightest display on the market, so that's great. The camera on this phone is a mixed bag, mainly because it's on paper. The camera is amazing. Um, it has a lot of Sony brands mixed together, and so it's just an amazing camera on paper. But when you take photos in auto mode on the Z3, they don't, they're don't they not really that great. However, if you know what you're doing, and if you go to, into manual mode, you can, put some, you can create some pretty awesome images. Um, software on the Z3, Sony's uh, take on Android, isn't obtrusive like TouchWiz, but you know it does add some functionality as well, so I had no problems with it. Some of the icons are ugly as hell though. And top all of that with some killer features like remote play, and you've got yourself one hell of a smartphone. Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Cycles here, and my pick for the top phone of the year 2014 is the LG G3. In my opinion, it's got one of the most different and original designs out there right now. It's got the buttons on the back instead of the side or front, which believe it or not, are actually quite easy to get used to. And it's got those awesome thin bezels that really allows us to focus on that beautiful Quad HD screen. And on top of that, it's got beastly specs, a good camera with laser focus, and for a 5.5 inch screen, it's pretty ergonomic. I think this was the biggest improvement in a phone series this year, and that really put LG as a contender in the smartphone world. Oh, and if you're in the UK, you can actually get this phone right now for only £299 unlocked on Amazon UK. Anyway, for my honorable mention, I've actually got two. First is the OnePlus One, which despite its bad press and being extremely hard to get, it's still an awesome phone, especially for that price tag. And second, this is kind of a last minute edition. It has been my daily driver. It is the iPhone 6 Plus. In my opinion, this is the best iPhone Apple's ever made. And for the first time ever, it's actually got good battery life. So yeah, out of all of those, I still think the, the LG G3 is the best value for money. And it was the phone that really impressed me this year. So that's why it's my pick for this year's top phone. My pick for the top phone of 2014 is the HTC One M8. Like the original HTC One, it was able to stand out quite easily in the smartphone market with its unique design, form factor and of course its specs. 
Speaking of specs, it comes with a 5 inch 1080p IPS LCD display, two 4 megapixel rear cameras, and a 5 megapixel front camera. What's running the phone is a quad core processor, Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 chip, a Reno 330 GPU, and over 2 gigs of RAM. The 2600 mAh battery is non replaceable and provides standby time of over 20 days and talk time of about 20 hours. The design and form factor of the M8 is akin to the M7. It feels a lot more comfortable now, it's sort of a unibody feel as the back wraps around the sides. HTC got a lot of things right last year with the One M7 and with M8 they've tried to fix a few things here and there. The front facing camera is 5 megapixels and is placed at about the same location as the M7's just beside the top speaker grill. The dual front facing boom sound speakers are probably the best speakers on a smartphone right now. Last year's M7 had Beats audio which pleased a lot of its consumers and this year HTC has brought boom sound. And probably the most unique feature of this phone is its two cameras on the back. What they basically do is allow you to shift your focus after you've taken the photo. My runner up is the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. There are a few reasons why I chose this phone. It's conveniently compact, has mid range specs and is designed well. You might disagree with me on this but this is entirely my opinion and for some reason I just really like this phone. From first looks you could have probably guessed that the inspiration for its design is perhaps from one of its close competitors. The main difference between this phone and other Samsung phones like the Galaxy S5 is the way this phone feels. The Alpha's frame is made of metal which is chamfered like the frame of the iPhone 5 and 5S which is not the case with other Samsung phones which instead use plastic. Specs are not the best in class with this phone but are fairly good and gets the job done. Unlike newer Samsung phones, the Alpha has a 12 megapixel camera instead of the much improved 16 megapixel camera. The screen is toughened with Gorilla Glass 4 which provides greater resistance against drops. Definitely not the best display for the price but it still gives a vibrant saturated output. And rocking those less curvy edges, it's a compact phone. It's a great choice for someone who wants a pocketable phone which looks premium and doesn't care much about specs. I hope you enjoyed my part of the collaboration. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. That is our time. Um, we hope you liked this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up as it really helps the video out. But above all, do not forget to subscribe. Subscribe to all three of our channels. It will be deeply appreciated. And also, this time, leave a comment telling me what you think is the best smartphone in 2014. I want to see some interesting discussions down there in the comment section. So yeah, do that. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, this is Techricity signing out. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,